Hello again, and welcome to another Gotham and Zero Node tutorial. In this video, we'll have a look at the wavetable functionality. So we will create our own wavetable, we will import wavetables, and see what the wavetable oscillator parameters do. So first of all, what is a wavetable? On Gotham and Zero Node, a wavetable is simply a 32 kilobyte wave audio file. And this is split into 64 or 8 single cycle waveforms. And those waveforms are then looped by the internal oscillator, and they can be morphed and processed by the oscillator's parameters. Okay, so let us create our own wavetable on the urno. I've got my clear preset loaded here again, which you can also download. You'll find a link to that in the video description, and then you can simply load it onto your urno via USB. And here I have nothing patched, so there are no sounds coming out of this box, and you have to work just like with an unpatched Eurorack modular synth, for example, and create all the connections from scratch, which I think is a lot of fun. All right, now onto the wavetables. Press edit to go to the edit menu, and then we'll go to sample, and here we can select our samples, select start endpoints, uh, chop them, and so on. But now we also have a WTBL wavetable button here, which we use to create and edit wavetables. First of all, let's load an empty sample slot, because right now A1 is loaded, which is just a drum sample that I have imported. So I'll just choose sample bank C, which is completely empty here, and yeah, just choose number one hit OK. So this is an empty sample now. And when we enter the wavetable editor now, we will see that there's nothing in there. Down at the bottom of the screen, we will see the knob assignment. So knob number one changes the draw mode between normal and art. And <laughs> we'll have a look at that in a minute. Knob number two switches through the wavetables. And we have 64 of those right now. And knob number three changes the current wavetable mode between 64 or 8. So you can either save 64 waves inside one table, inside one wave file, or just 8. And now since we are drawing them by hand, I don't want to draw 64 waves, so I'll just leave that at 8. So I will just have to draw 8 waves. And then you do just that. Take your finger, and first of all I will try to draw something like a single cycle sine wave. And then I can go to wave number 2. And here well, let's do it like um, on the Gothamans oscillators. So let's do a triangle wave. Let's see if I can get that a little more pointy up there. Triangle wave. Next up would be a saw wave. Let's just draw a single cycle falling saw wave, if my fingers let me. Wave number four would be a square wave, and we can just simply do something like that. And then like this. This is my super nice square wave. And then, oh, that's the wrong knob, I'll draw one with a different pulse width and one with an even shorter pulse width. And I don't know, here, six and seven or seven and eight will just be something. Okay, so now we have eight different waves. And I can press play, which will preview the wave. And it'll do that live, so even while I'm drawing. I can also copy and paste waveform, so I could press copy. And then go to wave number eight and press paste, and then I have the wave in here. And this is nice when you just want to create some little variations of one single wave. And right now we don't need another sine wave, um, so let's just switch that draw mode to art and see what happens when I touch the screen now. Now it's getting really artistic, and you see that, you know, it's kind of creating those spiky waveforms, which are you know, almost creating inversions of what I'm drawing with my finger. You can be fast and you can be slow. And so, yeah, those are pretty gnarly. Let's go back to normal and just draw something again like this, maybe. There's also the test button here that lets us play the whole wavetable and then morph between the waves just like the oscillator would let us to modulate the sound. Let's try that out. Press test and play. And now knob number one 
lets us morph through the waves. We'll have a look at that again when we check out the oscillator parameters later. So for now we have our own first wavetable created. Again, eight waveforms that we drew. And now I'll just hit save and name it, I don't know, let's name it fun. Waves like this. And as you can see with the big touch screen, naming things is really easy with my fingers <laughs> and with yours probably too. Save wave. It'll ask us in which bank to save and let's just save it to bank C. When I exit out of here now, C1 is now fun waves. This was the empty slot we had before. We could have saved it to another slot, of course, but um, yeah, C is good because C is empty, so I will find it quickly. All right, now let's patch an oscillator to an output and load our wavetable into the oscillator. Escape, edit part. I'll just go on the output one, select input, oscillator one, so now input of the output module is oscillator one. Okay, I'll go to the module real quick and set the output level. Now we can hear the oscillator just coming through as a drone. And now I can just switch to oscillator one. And this is currently set up as a regular Gothamon oscillator. And now let's change that by going to select and choose WTBL wavetable, go to sample and then go to bank C where our fun waves is and going to the oscillator page now we see that the type is still 64 and we have to set that to 8 of course and now you can already see my sine wave that I crudely drew in the editor. And here we have three parameters now wave X, wave Y and metal. Wave X is what I've just showed you in the editor, the test feature and uh, when I run through this you can now see what's happening. It will morph my eight waveforms. So let's start again. Here we have the sine wave. I'll turn wave X up and it'll turn into the triangle wave, my wave number two in the table. Then it will turn to my sawtooth wave, the third one. And then we'll have the pulse wave, number four. Then we have different pulse width, number five number six and then we have the strange waves from the end of the table. So here we can smoothly blend between all those eight tables or all those 64 tables if we had a 64 wave table. Wave Y does something completely different and I'll just show you. It will basically reflect your wave form on the Y axis and add the reflection so at the beginning it's simply a sine wave and now a reflection is just pushed in basically from the right there. And then you can of course still use wave X just like before and the waveforms will be mirrored. And then we have the metal parameter which I don't exactly know what it does, but it certainly adds overtones. So yeah, this totally morphs my initial sine wave into something completely different, <laughs> but it sounds good. And that, of course, is also typical for Gotham instruments. You can really destroy everything, and that's cool. Of course, we can modulate those parameters as well. So wave X and wave Y are on the mod one page, and we can quickly choose an LFO, for example. And now it will just morph the waveforms. We can also do that here. And on the mod 2 page we also have the metal parameter. Yeah, let's 
choose another electrode. And of course they're currently all going um, the same speed. So I'll just change that real quick. Go back to the oscillator. And now we have a lot of stuff going on here. So this was the workflow basically from zero, no sound at all, to a custom wavetable that is now being modulated. Now let's load a wavetable that I've downloaded from the internet. And if you watched my What's New video for the Gothamans Eurono Modular Synth, then you'll know already that I've downloaded these things from waveditonline.com, which is the user repository of wavetables made by the WaveEdit software, which is a free multi-platform open source editor to create your own wavetables on the computer. You simply copy those wavetable wave files onto a FAT32 formatted USB thumb drive, plug it into the Urino, and then you'll go to the USB page, and there you can import those wave files just as normal samples. And since they have been created in WaveEdit, they are automatically compatible with the Urino's wavetable engine. So I've got those wavetables loaded into sample bank D. So there are a lot, like over 600 wavetables here now. And um, it's just as easy as with the custom wavetable that we created. You just go to the oscillator, select the sample from bank D this time like, I don't know, this one. We can just turn the modulation down again real quick and listen to how that sounds. That's um, a 64 wavetable, most probably. Okay, and now on the Urino we have those handy sample up and down buttons, so we can choose a new sample right here from the menu. Ah, got some human voice sounds here. So yeah, as you can see, it's really simple. Just load those wave files on there and put them in a wavetable oscillator and then just step through them and see what you find. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Have fun with the Urino and with wavetables. Do post any questions that you might have about this device in the comments down below. And then I'll see you next time for another Urino video.